Hey everyone, so I'm going to be talking about a few of my drugstore favorites and this includes eye products mainly and a few face products and that's about it just because when I go to the drugstore looking for something I like it to be really good quality and I've tried tons of stuff from the drugstore but these are my absolute standouts. I have done videos like this in the past but this one's kind of an updated one since new products have come out recently um, or at least in between now and then. I'm going to start out with the face products actually to move everything over here. Um, I have a couple foundations that are worth mentioning and a concealer. So for the foundations, it's going to be no surprise because I've talked about these in the past. The first one is Revlon Color Stay, and I know a lot of people on YouTube talk about this and hype it up and all of that. Now, I, I haven't tried the um, dry skin formula. I've only had the oily skin one. And yes, I do have dry skin, and I always go for oily skin <laughs> foundations. Um, because I like the finish better. It's more of a skin finish. It's not dewy and you know my skin I mean even though I have dry skin. I don't really like it to look really dewy. I do like it to be hydrated um, But like I've said in the past I go through other means to make it look hydrated But I prefer to use a more matte foundation. This one's not super matte. It's like a satin finish which I love um, I can't use it with fingers, so I do have to use a brush with it, but it gives amazing coverage for me, the color match is amazing. This is my color in 110 Ivory, which I believe is the lightest shade, and it just matches me perfectly. And I'm pretty sure they have a pretty good uh, color range as well, so that's a good one. The next one is CoverGirl Nature Luxe Foundation. Um, silk Foundation is what it's called. This has SPF 10, this has SPF 6, in case you're curious. But this one, I am in Alabaster, which again, I believe is the lightest shade. These run a little bit more pink toned from what I can tell. Um, so for me it works because I'm more of a pink undertone. I mean I get confused with myself. I've done all the tests and I'm pretty sure I'm just neutral undertone to be honest because I can't tell the difference when I hold up a white shirt. You know what I mean? I don't see whether it's my blue veins or green veins. I just think I'm neutral to be honest. So for me, this blends in perfectly with my skin. I love this because I use my fingers with it. It's really natural coverage, so it's not super high coverage. It's a little bit buildable. I do struggle a little bit building it up, but it's definitely a good foundation for your good skin days when your skin doesn't need a whole lot of coverage, but just wants to look really natural and evened out. I love this foundation for that. I love that I can use my fingers with it too because I'm really lazy and I just like to use my fingers most days. Um, but I reach for those as much as I reach for my high-end ones, so that's why I compare those with my high-end ones, because if I reach for it just as often, that means something. Okay, oh, and the concealer is the Milani HD Advanced Concealer. It's in the gold packaging. This is a lot like the, concept-wise, a lot like the um, Yves Saint Laurent Touche Clot. And I think, what was the brand? I want to say... L'Oreal just came out with a Lumi Touch or something like that, um, like a pen that's a highlighter. That's kind of what this is, but more of a concealer. I use this under my eyes, and it gives really good coverage under my eyes, but I don't have dark circles, um, so it, I can't really speak for someone who has dark circles. There is not a whole lot of coverage to this, so if you need more coverage under the eyes, I don't recommend this, but I do recommend it as far as brightening. Um, say you use a more creamy concealer under the eyes to even out the dark circles. If you use this on top, it really brightens the under eye because it has that same concept um, for the brightening effect part of that, so I love that. Moving on to eye stuff. Um, I only have one mascara to mention. I have more favorites from the drugstore. I just don't own them at the moment. Like the CoverGirl mascaras I love, um, but I haven't really found my standout drugstore uh, mascara yet. I do love the Maybelline Falsies, and I know this is hit and miss with most people. This is the flared one. Um, the reason why is because it is a little bit clumpy. Um, it doesn't work for everybody, but it works for me. I like the clumpy lash. Um, it's a natural bristle brush, which I love, and yeah, that's basically all I have to say about that. Now, the rest are eyeshadow products, and I have some really good ones. Firstly, I want to mention these two products, which are discontinued in the store, but you can still get them on Amazon um, for really, really inexpensive. I think I paid a dollar each, and they are absolutely amazing products. They are the L'Oreal Hip Cream Shadow Paints, and if I can find them on Amazon, I'll even link you to it down below in the description box, but the ones that I have 
are nervy, which I call satin taupe in a tube because it's the exact same coloring as satin, satin taupe. And this one is witty, which is more of an orange based brown. And this one's a matte finish. And this one is a like almost like a frost finish. It's more shimmery. These are absolutely amazing products. They last for days. I mean, not literally, but they last forever on the eyelid. It's absolutely amazing. I love these. They're really inexpensive online, so I definitely recommend getting some of those. They're kind of hard to work with. Um, you can use your finger, and they're really a creamy product, but sometimes getting it out of the little metal tube, you know, it's kind of interesting. It's, I don't really know how to explain it, but it just kind of like shoots out from the tube when you open it, so you have to be careful. Um, okay, the next product is an eyeshadow palette, and these are just powdered eyeshadows. This is by Wet n Wild, and this is in the Greed Combo palettes. Um, I don't know if this is being discontinued, because when I picked it up at Kmart, it was reduced price. I don't know if it was a closeout price, but definitely if you can find this palette, pick it up, because it is so good. The, the quality of these eyeshadows are really good. Let me sh show you this one. This is the creamy, like, bone color. The highlight color is really good, and they're just really pigmented. This orange one, the warm color is amazing for like blue eyes. Um, anything warm toned is really great for blue eyes, so I highly recommend that. Um, but that palette in general, you can find these really inexpensive. I paid a dollar twenty four for this, so that's really good. Your next eyeshadow is a Rimmel eyeshadow. These are really amazing. These to me compare to like Urban Decay, because you know. They are kind of glittery. Um, this one is really messy. This is in Backstage, is the color name. And it's just so beautiful. It's like a dupe of Satin Taupe, if I might add. Um, it's, it's just so gorgeous, I can't even tell you. It's like a beautiful taupe golden shade, I love it. And um, it is a, a lot more powdery than the Urban Decay ones and not as pigmented, but that's kind of the comparison I can find um, to it, but um, I also like to use this wet. This color wet is so beautiful. I don't know if it's necessarily okay to do that with that particular eyeshadow. I do it anyways, um, even if it ruins it. It's just so beautiful. I can't help it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the L'Oreal Infallible Bronze Taupe Eyeshadow, and you can tell the color scheme that I really like. I have, you know, this one is a bronze taupe, this one's taupe. Taupe is my absolute favorite eyeshadow color ever. This is what this one looks like. This one's interesting, and I love how the drugstore now is coming out. I mean, different brands from the drugstore are coming out with innovative products like this that high-end brands have already done, but now you can access them at the drugstore a lot easier, so I love that. You know, something like this kind of pen, or this pressed powder eyeshadow that has a wet I mean, I can't explain it. There's some sort of liquid moisture in there that holds it together. Um, but otherwise, it's just a pressed powder. And these are so pigmented, like, so pigmented. Look at that. It's so beautiful. This is a great everyday eye color. In fact, I use this in my everyday eye and foundation routine, I think. Um, and I just use the one, and I love it because it's just so good on its own. It's smoky enough. You can use it in the crease as well. Um, so that's a really, really great eyeshadow. But I love how different companies are coming out with the same things that you can find high-end, and that's what I really look for. Like these little paints. I know MAC did some paints. Um, and just the quality of the eyeshadows are getting so much better. Another thing to mention, of course, are the Maybelline Color Tattoo eyeshadows. These are a standout for me, mainly for one of them. Bronze, or Bad to the Bronze is my favorite, because it's a bronze taupe. I'll go ahead and swatch it. But obviously, it's a bronze taupe, I'm going to get it. So that's what that looks like. So lovely. I love it. Um, the Toughest Taupe and the um, Pomegranate Punk I don't reach for as much. They're a little bit harder to work with, which I'll mention. I think I'll post that one next. But um, I've already talked about these in my review, so if you want to see my review on this, I'll link it over here so you can just click on that. Um, if you want to know more about my thoughts individually on the different ones, because I have basically three different finishes. I consider this one, the pomegranate one, to be a little bit different than the Batch of Bronze, but that's just my opinion. But those are a great product for really inexpensive if you think about the quality of it. Um, but that's actually all of my drugstore favorites that I have to mention. I, some of them are probably duplicates 
from past videos for drugstore. I know this one is, um, but otherwise they're just that good and I love these products. They definitely are, you know, up to par with the high-end products that I have and I reach for these just as much as my high-end ones, so that says something. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any favorite drugstore products, please leave them in the comments because I love to explore new things at the drugstore because they're so inexpensive that you can't really go wrong. So please leave those recommendations down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.